Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a square and it overlaps with a circle, with a blue circle. And this intersection of the blue circle and the square has a distance from the base of the square, which is three units. And we are required to find the diameter of the blue circle. Okay, so for our first method is we are going to use similarity of triangles. But before that, we need to draw a line from this point of the intersection of the circle and the square. And to the right portion, which is also the intersection of the circle and the square. And next is we draw this vertical line from this intersection or I mean this the point where the square and the circle are tangent upwards okay so since this is a square inside the circle then this square is divided into two equal parts by this red segment so if so if this is s then this is s also then it is given that this distance is 3 and this side is actually 2s minus 3 because 2s is the whole length then you need to subtract 3 Okay, so next is we draw a line from this point to this point, the intersection of the circle and the square, and it intersects the center of the circle, and if this is R, this is the radius, and this is also the radius, center to a point on the circle, and this is actually the radius minus 3. Okay, so to prove that these two are, I mean this length actually is the diameter of the circle is, we simply see that it is opposite this angle, which is the corner of the square, which is a 90 degree angle. And aside from that, this line intersects two points on this circle. And therefore, it is actually the hypotenuse of this right triangle, this right triangle with the legs, which is this one and this, this one. And if it is opposite this, then the hypotenuse is actually the diameter of the circle. Okay, so next is we use similarity of triangles. We again, we focus on this smaller triangle. This is actually a right triangle, same as this bigger one. So, we may say that the opposite over the adjacent, so this of this angle, say this is alpha, so R minus 3 divided by S is actually equal to 2s minus 3. This is from this larger triangle. This is larger. So the opposite is 2s minus 3 all over this distance 2s. So 2s, this is 2s. Okay, so next is we simplify this equation. So we cancel this S and we cross multiply. We have 2R minus 6 is equal to 2S minus 3. So we have 2R minus 2S. If we transpose this 
2 is on the right hand side to the left hand side then next is we transpose this negative 6 to the right hand side then we have 6 minus 3 so this will be 3 and this will be r minus s we factor out the 2 so we have r minus s is equal to 3 over 2 okay so next is we use the cross word theorem to get another equation so for cross word theorem this length this length is actually 2r minus 3 because it is 3 here 3 and the two lengths for the horizontal uh, segment is actually S and S, this distance. So, this distance and this one. So we can now use the cross curve theorem. So, we have S times S. Is equal to 2r minus 3 times 3. So we have a square is equal to 6r minus 9. Okay, so next is we manipulate r minus. S is equal to 3 over 2 and we make it as R is equal to S plus 3 over 2. Okay, so next is we plug it in the second equation which is S square is equal to 6R minus 9. So S square is equal to 6 times the value of R which is s plus 3 over 2 minus 9 so if we simplify this we have s square is equal to 6s plus 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 3 that would be 9 then minus 9 so we just cancel this becomes 0 so we have s square minus 6s is equal to 0. So we have s times s minus 6 is equal to 0. So we have s is equal to 0 and s minus 6 is equal to 0. So we have s is equal to 6. This is the valid answer because there is no zero distance. Okay, so next is we use the manipulated. Uh, form of this equation 1 and that is r is equal to s plus 3 over 2. So r is simply equal to s which is 6 plus 3 over 2. So r is equal to 2 times 6 which is 12 plus 3. So we have r is equal to 15 over 2 and for the diameter is equal to 2r so d is equal to 2 times 15 over 2 and cancel this and we have d is equal to 15 units and that is our answer for the first method okay so for the second method is we are going to draw a line from this intersection of the square and the circle towards the bottom which is the midpoint of the side of the square and we label this as s and this is actually 2s this side And next is we draw a line from the intersection of the circle and the square towards the midpoint of the bottom side of the square. And another line from 
the this point of the intersection of the square and the circle at the right upper right side upper right corner and uh to this distance intersection of the circle and the square and this is actually the diameter of the circle this side okay and of course since that is the diameter then by Thales theorem this is actually a right angle we form a right triangle okay so if this is a right angle here and if we label this as beta then this is a complementary angle and we label this as alpha and we set that alpha plus beta is equal to 90 and since this is 90 degrees this is a complementary angle the alpha and this is beta and notice that these two right triangles are actually similar because they are derived uh, they are similar because they are two angles that are congruent and another angle which is this right angle so by angle 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 theorem they are actually congruent okay so if the ratio of the sides of this bigger triangle is actually 2s and s then for this smaller one we have the shorter leg to be 3 and the longer leg should be twice of this 3 so we have 6 and if that side that segment i mean is 6 this is 6 then since this 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 point is actually the midpoint then this should be actually also 6 for the value of s and if this is 6 then we should multiply this by 2 to get this 2s so 2s is actually equal to 12 units and now to get this distance this segment the length of this segment then we just need to get that by pythagorean theorem let's label that as uh, segment a so a is equal to the square root of 12 square plus 6 square then we have 2 square times 6 square plus 6 square then we can actually get this out this 6 factor this out so we have square root of 6 square times 2 square plus 1 then we have the square root of 6 square is 6 square root of 5 so a is equal to 6 square root of 5 Okay, so next is we get this distance, this segment. Let us call that as B. So B is simply equal to this B is actually the hypotenuse of this smaller right triangle whose legs are 3 and 6. So we have 3 square plus 6 square. So B is equal to 3 square plus 2 times 3 squared so we have b is equal to the square root of 
3 square plus 2 square times 3 square and we can actually factor out this 3 square so the square root of 3 square times 2 square plus 1 so we have b is equal to 3 times the square root of this is actually 5 inside so we have 3 square root of 5 for the value of b and now finally we can get the value of the diameter and we call this length as d which is also the hypotenuse of this larger right triangle okay so d is equal to the square root of a square plus b square and d is equal to 6 square root of 5 square plus 3 square root of 5 square then we have d is equal to 36 times 5 then we have this plus 9 times 5 then we can simply factor out this 5 so we have 5 times 36 plus 9 which is 45 5 times 45 but actually 45 can be written as 9 times 5 so d is equal to 5 times 9 times 5 so this is actually a perfect square so we have d is equal to uh, square root of 5 square this becomes 5 times the square root of 9 which is 3 so we have d is equal to 15 units and that is our answer for the second method same as the uh, value that we got earlier for the first method okay so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye